Today we're going to take a look at how to join MPEG-4 video files together. Do you need to create a really long loop in order to put it on a SD card or a USB thumb drive to stick into your projector? Or maybe you just wanted to alternate between a couple of different videos. Well, we're going to show you how and it's not only easy, but it is free. So let's get started. Now very first of all, uh, we're going to need to come over here we're going to go to uh, mp4joiner.org and by the way the links will be in the video description down below. And once you get there it's really simple you just find uh, whether you need the Mac version or the Windows version. I'm running on Windows so I'm going to go ahead and click on the Windows binary here to download. It's going to take me to this web page and here's where I actually see the actual Windows, uh, here's the source code for it because it is an open source program and the uh, Mac OS version. Again, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click that and we get our little downloader down here. Once it's downloaded, you just click on it to uh, install it and you basically just click through the install. There's no, uh, no trick questions in here. Go ahead and create a desktop shortcut if you want to and then install. Now, it's actually installed two programs. One is the joiner, and that's the one we're going to use today. The other one's the splitter. I don't like the splitter as well because it doesn't do uh, always do exactly what you want it to do. Uh, so we're not really going to cover that, but we're definitely going to take a look at the joiner. So I am going to go ahead and let it launch the joiner, and we can get started. We just need to add some video files, and there's two ways to do that. You can use the uh, plus icon up here to open up and find your video files, or you can just drag and drop them in, so whichever way you like. I happen to have a couple of video files. These are uh, at most a uh, pumpkin making funny faces, and I've got a couple of them here. They come with the, what they call a buffer file, and that's just where the pumpkin's just kind of sitting there. He's not saying or doing anything, uh, but moving around maybe very slightly. Uh, so those are kind of what you stick in between maybe to kind of fill up some time, for example. Uh, and basically there's two different video files, and these could be any video files that you want. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, select the uh, buffer file here, and we can add that. And then of course come over here, and then we can add a copy of this guy here. And now uh, we have our two files in there. Uh, so here's the buffer file on top. Here is our actual funny face video. Uh, and of course you can move these around with these little arrows right here. So if I wanted a funny face video on top to start first, I could do that. Or if I you know, wanted maybe after that buffer video. And by the way, of course, you can always resize these windows. And of course, if you make a mistake and you add something you don't want, you just hit remove and it's gone. And then you can add it back in just like that. And now we're ready to go. Uh, all we got to do to join these two files together to make one video file out of both of them. And again, we could have added a dozen more here if you want. And of course, you can add the same video over and over again if you'd like. That way, it'll just repeat over and over again. Uh, by the way, it shows the total time down here. And if that doesn't update, just click on one of these items and it will update down here and show you the total time. Uh, so now our uh, video is uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds long. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, add in another copy of each one of these here. And I can actually, I think, hold down the shift key here and open up a couple of them at one time. And so we've got the uh, buffer, we've got the funny faces, the buffer, and the funny faces repeating over and over again. And now we're up to 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and let's say I think that's great. So let's go ahead and join these together. Uh, all you got to do is just click the Join button, and I'm going to come over here, and I have a folder here to put it in. And you can call it whatever you want. By default, it calls it output.mpeg4. Uh, for right now, I'll just uh, leave it that and hit save and it processes and it's all done so now let's go ahead and actually open up that video file and we can kind of see how it looks so here's just playing our buffer file which is again not really doing anything these candles kind of flickering or whatever but if we kind of scroll through here along eventually we'll get to the part where he actually starts moving around see this is the actual video file and then after he gets done making his funny faces we'll go back to his buffer mode that's the buffer file again right and then of course we keep scrolling through here then he's back to telling uh, he's making his funny faces again so that's really about it. We've merged all these files together and now we can just copy this over to our SD card or our USB stick and put it in our projector or media player and we are good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you again soon.